is, if you like, the Danny Harris, Redwin Moses of today. Hyde comes here as the defending champion. He will represent Jamaica at the Olympic Games and seeking here what will be his third world title. And that's not bad when you consider he's still just 19. He won his first at world use level at the highs, the sprint hurdles in 2013. Won this event, having made the step up to the 400 meter hurdles two years ago in Eugene. And he comes here to defend his title. Japanese uh, athletes in lanes two and nine. They are the bookends, if you like, in those glorious salmon pink vests. Mikael de Jesus, the world number two from Brazil. The Olympic host nation. Mohamed Jalassi of Tunisia. In brilliant form in the heats and semi-final, but needs to find a bit extra if he is to get anywhere near this man. Jaheel Hyde, 48.81 already as a teenager. The American, Taylor McLaughlin, four times sub 50 seconds already this year. Well, this man's technique, a bit rough around the edges, Kyron McMaster of the British Virgin Islands. But he ran well in his semi-final. Gong Debin of China. 50.99, so he comes here as the slowest man in this final. And Yoshiro Watanabe of Japan, the Asian champion this year. So is Jaheel Hyde going to give us a demonstration of just how good he is and why in the years to come he may come to dominate the senior ranks that's how good he is 48.81 already not actually yet in the world all-time top 10 list as a junior what a list that is Danny Harris Jehu Gordon Karen Clement Johnny Dutch Dutch who uh, picked up a silver medal in the World Junior Championships on this track eight years ago. Well, the conditions are excellent for 400 meter hurdling. Let's see if I can break 49 seconds. Had to stutter a little bit to that first barrier. Running 14 strides, the Jamaican. Alternating legs, which is a real demand of technique. There you can see the athlete from the British Virgin Islands, McMaster and McLaughlin. And McLaughlin at the moment going stride for stride with the Jamaican. Had to uh, just extend his stride a little bit there, did the American as he chops down now. And here goes Jaheel Hyde. And this is where he comes into the really the strongest part of his race. But look at McMaster, he's chasing him home here. We're going to see some fast times. Hyde, as long as he can take that last barrier, which he does, comfortably on his way to the title. He's just outside 49 seconds. McLaughlin in the United States just snatched second place in front of McMaster. But I reckon the first three there inside 50 seconds. And that is pretty good. Jaheel Hyde, well, one or two rough edges with the technique. But he's still run very, very fast indeed. And I have to say, I don't think he was entirely extended there. The race for second place is well worth watching. Look how close the inside of the bend there that Kieran McMaster is getting. But Taylor McLaughlin, the American, they came very close to 50 seconds in the semi-final. I think just gets up for this silver medal. Those two, well, they're almost linking arms, aren't they? And McLaughlin just dips over there and gets past the athlete from the British Virgin Islands inside the last 10 minutes. But Hyde met the last hurdle perfectly. McLaughlin, raw strength, sheer guts, and he knows and he's sensing here he's just got the match of McMaster. 
So another gold to Jamaica. Decent run from the Brazilian there, you can see. To Jesus, who wasn't quite at his best of these championships. The two Japanese, they're scrapping for fifth place with alongside him, Gong, the Chinese, but it was a one-man race. So Jaheel Hyde will now go on to the Olympic Games, where I think a realistic target is certainly a place in the final. We'll probably fall some way short of a medal, but uh, unless he can find some major improvement, but he is a worthy champion and a successful defense of his crown. 49-03, Taylor McLaughlin 49-45, 49-56 for Kieran McCaster. The first three 